So an interesting thing happened around the turn of the century in physics. Everybody got really cocky and decided they pretty much knew everything there was to know about physics. Pretty crazy statement, considering everything we've learned since then. You see, back then they thought electricity and magnetism were two pretty separate things and didn't have anything to do with one another. So a guy named Hans Christian Orsted came along. He was doing a demo for his kids one day. He was a teacher like me. And he had a compass just laying around and a current going through a wire, electricity being kind of new at the time. And he realized that he made the compass do something weird. And so he tried to explain it. We've got a current going through a wire. It's in a magnetic field. That's what's causing that compass to go and change. And he decided to have a way of figuring out that change. He called it the first left hand rule. You ever see a physicist kind of doing something weird with their hand, rolling it like this? Kind of looks like they're maybe trying to crush your head. No, they're actually just figuring out something with the first left hand rule, where your thumb is the current and your finger is curled in the direction of the magnetic field. And so later on, some other guy named Michael Faraday, he's my favorite dead scientist, he realized that the opposite could be true as well. That if you had a magnetic field that was moving, you know, wire without a current, boom, you get a current. It's almost like each one of those little electrons in a magnetic field were actually experiencing a force. And today we figure out that force of electromagnetic induction by using our third left-hand rule in physics. So, you know, you can't be too careful about thinking that you're sort of a hotshot in science because um, uh, somebody's gonna come around and prove to you that there's still more left to learn.